Welcome back to Ghost Pride Entertainment. I'm your host, Kanan Becker, and today we talk about The Northmen. So I just got back from checking out the new Robert Eggert movie, The Northmen. And I just gotta say from the top that I'm not sure how fair this review is gonna be and I'll explain why. So I went in just like you normally would and I don't usually rant about stuff, but this is really something I gotta get off my chest. So I go into this movie and if anybody has seen a Robert Egger movie, then you know that they're artsy, slow burn, very dialogue driven kind of movies. And you generally expect to see a certain type of crowd in there. So I get in there, it's middle of the week, you know, there's nobody there really. And I sit down and there's a couple spatterings of couples. Besides me, it's all very much older people. I think there was one younger couple that was sitting directly behind me. And then there was an older couple to my right and an older couple to my left. And they were a ways away from me on both sides. And if there was anybody else, I didn't see him. All right, so I'm getting a little long winded with this, but hear me out. So anyway, so I'm sitting there, trailers rolling, and I don't really care if people are talking still, chomping away on food or getting up, it's trailers, okay? Some people trip on that and the trailers are a big deal to them. I'm not someone that really cares all that much about it. I'm like, whatever. But once the movie starts, I expect people to quiet down. So the movie starts and this couple to my left is continually whispering and laughing. And keep in mind, this is a couple that's white haired. They got to be at least in their 60s. So I'm like, OK, you know, it's cool. Like the movie's just starting. It'll take people, you know, a lot of times it takes people a few minutes to kind of get into the whole, you know, like have the movie wash over them kind of deal. So I start watching the movie and I don't know, maybe 15 minutes into it, the older gentleman to my left is continuing to laugh and yeah, they're kind of whispering, but it's not really a whisper whisper either. And maybe they don't hear that well. That's cool. But either way, I'm like, you know, this is really distracting me from this movie, like big time. This movie is a very dialogue driven movie. So I say something. I'm like, excuse me. Shh, can you guys please keep it down? Like I'm having a hard time, you know, concentrating on the movie. They don't even respond at all. They look at me and that's it. So I'm guessing they heard me because they did look at me. Either way, they don't stop at all. We're talking, this is like a couple that is in their 60s, literally acting like 13 year old girls seeing the latest popcorn whatever movie. Not this artsy, slow burn kind of movie. And I don't know what kind of movie they thought they were going into. But this frustrated me so bad. I asked them again. And then again, the final time I was like, excuse me. And I was loud enough that the whole theater could hear me. I was like, you guys are really being loud and rude. Please keep it down. Finally, I got up, said something to the management there. They're really nice about it. They gave me passes to come see him next time. And they said they'd go in there and say something. Apparently they did. But when I got back in there, it wasn't really quiet at all. It just continued. And at that point, I just tried my best to ignore it but it really distracted me from this movie. So just keep that in mind when I tell you my review of this movie. So it's a very artsy, very much a slow burn kind of movie. And if you don't know, it's, some people say that it's inspired by Hamlet, but it's kind of the other way around. This is inspired by the original story that inspired Hamlet. It's a much older story that was then kind of translated. And there's been a ton of things that have kind of used this this story, you know, to write another movie story. So yes, it is very Hamlet, you know, like, but it's definitely its own thing. But it's a very artistic movie, an absolutely gorgeous movie. I mean, the visuals of this movie are amazing. And it also has just a brilliant cast. So I was really expecting a lot going into this because I know The Lighthouse isn't for everyone and neither is The Witch, but I really enjoyed both those movies, especially for what they were. This movie, I don't know, man, it wasn't bad. I'm not gonna say that by any means, it wasn't a bad movie, 
but there was just something missing for me. There wasn't this emotional feeling coming from the cast, and I don't know what it was. And like I said off the top, maybe it was my distraction from that couple, but I don't think it was. I feel like it was more than that. I just really felt a hard time getting into this story because I just didn't feel the weight and the connection and the chemistry of the characters on screen. And I don't know what that was from. It could have been something that Robert Eggers was going for. I don't know, but it didn't feel like it. But for whatever reason, I just had a really hard time feeling invested in these characters and caring about what happens to them. I'm gonna avenge you, father. I'm gonna save you, mother. I'm gonna kill you, Fiona. I wanna avenge you, father. I wanna save you, mother. I wanna kill you, Fiona. But this movie is brutal, very gory. And I mean, there are definitely some scenes that could get to you if you're not uh, someone that's a little bit thick skinned, just uncomfortable and disturbing and just really messed up things that people do to each other in this movie. But I thought it was really well paced and on a technical sense, I thought this was a fantastic movie. Like I said, I just had a really hard time connecting to this movie. I really enjoyed the visuals overall. I enjoyed just the way everything looks so much. Like I said, it's very gory. They don't hold back on that. And there's just this real brutal kind of darkness to the entire movie. But as far as a piece of art, no matter what, I think you will definitely appreciate and enjoy this movie. And also, I generally cover horror movies, and this is not a horror movie, definitely not. I'm not even trying to claim that it is, but it does have a lot of uncomfortable horror type of elements. It's kind of one of those things that if you consider The Lighthouse especially a horror movie, then I'm not really sure why this wouldn't fit in that same category because this has just as many uncomfortable, haunting, disturbing scenes as The Lighthouse did in my opinion. So either way, I just wanted to give you guys my two cents. I plan to check it out again tonight and maybe hopefully a more chill environment without people being so rude around me talking. Guys, if you go to a movie, especially one that's dialogue driven, be quiet. Other people are trying to watch the movie around you. Like, seriously, you should be ashamed if you're one of those people that is ruining the experience for other people. But enough of my ranting. I want to thank you guys so much for checking this review out on my new review channel. My other channel, the old channel, is going to be just for my weekly recommendation list. But just for my singular reviews, they're going to be on this channel. So do me a favor and hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already so you can keep track of my videos, my reviews, because I'm going to drop them when I do them on this channel. And then also, please go over to the main channel to check out my weekly recommendations list. I just dropped a Netflix one this week. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Please crush that like button. And remember, guys, Horror can be fun! I will see you guys next time!